to ask her to reconsider her vote when it comes up to Senate finance because this is a matter of life and death for women across Louisiana and for, you know, working adults across Louisiana. And we just put the leader in the right name. Are y'all part of the same group for, that came out from the, um, the uh, uh, it's called, um, uh, inter, the, the Interfaith Council? Are y'all part of that group that's come out before about this? Um, we're not, no. we're not part of Interfaith. There's a lot of people oh, here that have oh, been, okay. that our churches are part of Interfaith, uh, okay. um, but... Well, yeah, there's a know, lot of different well, groups working on Well, more this. important to Senator Buffington than the people and the health, and she's worked very hard to make sure people have access to health care. She's been very concerned over the privatizations and stuff, so, mm -hmm. you know, I can't speak for her vote, but I'll sort of let her know. Because I'm, I'm Dr. Eileen Velez, um, I called you. Or, no, uh, no, that's funny. I was in Baton Rouge. Okay, well, I called her. one of the assistants in the office, uh -huh, okay. and so I'm one of the constituents in her district. Okay. So I'm very concerned okay. well, uh, I mean, about I that people are, are, hundreds of thousands of people are being uninsured. So I think definitely um, we would like her to change her vote to yes, well, expanding Medicaid health that. insurance. And what's your last name, Doctor? Velez, V E L E Z. Okay, what practice are you? Did you land? I'm a full time um, activist and a full time mom. So I don't oh, practice okay. medicine. I do have an active license. Uh -huh. But I'm also married to a physician who's an infectious disease specialist. So this okay. also affects him as well. well affects, and he takes care of a lot of high-risk patients. Well, so we're very concerned about what will happen to the state of health in the state. Well, and it is particularly uh, a difficult time when there's no money in the budget and the public hospitals are being dismantled. And, and this would actually save, I mean, this would actually put money into the budget. Like, we would, Louisiana would get money. You know, this is, I mean, particularly with Senate Bill 125, it's just for the first three years, so the state wouldn't put up any money. Well, I'm familiar with the provisions okay. of that, yeah. and, I, and I think a Representative Smith's bill was amended on the House yes. side to mirror it. So. Yes, we understand okay. that, and so, I mean, that means that, you know, if we can get out of Senate Finance Committee, all we were facing is a vote on the House floor and the Senate floor, and, I mean, I was at the hearing on April 30th, and it seems like it's very clear that the Department of Health and Hospitals has no plan, and they're just depending on the dish money, which is going away. Well, and part of it, and I don't mean to get into policy discussion, mm -hmm. but I think it's mm -hmm. very important that people understand that the governor or his designee, who is the secretary of DHH, must sign in the state plan amendment or waiver request or whatever. Okay. So, it, in some regards, while it's important, you know, what the legislature expresses is, is they cannot accept it. Yeah, but they can. They can pass a bill the way that it happened with Governor Foster, and he can veto that Governor bill. Foster. Governor Foster, when the still yeah. um, the state children, Governor Mike Foster in the nineties. When the state children's health insurance program was expanded, he, yeah, he did not want to take take the federal money, but the legislature passed a bill, and he chose not to veto it. He said, "Well, the legislature has spoken. I'm going to take this money." Well, but that, but that's a gubernatorial decision. Yeah, is what I'm saying. but the legislature also needs to right, stand, I mean, up, take, stand up and take responsibility for it yeah. because, um, I mean, the governor doesn't have a plan for this. A lot of his education bills last year have been ruled unconstitutional. So, I mean, someone down there in Baton Rouge. Well, it's has to wonderful to see that y'all are keeping track of it, and thank you. Yeah. 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 Right, thank you. Yeah. And I don't think I, if I'd known I was going to be taking pictures of them, I would have. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got back late last night. She and I didn't travel together, so I'm back, and I would have taken more care and what I understand that you look well, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's something, trust me, it's on, it's on the radar and it's being mm -hmm. tracked, and I will certainly convey. How many of you actually live in Senate District 38? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. just, just, just curious. Mm -hmm. so, does everyone know? Oh, some news. I know. I know. But we're yeah. glad to hear your thoughts. Anyway, and you're Barbara Gerald, aren't you? Yes. I was on, I worked with Daryl Williams from at LSU, mm -hmm. and we started the AIDS Task Force, right. and I know you were very long involved, time so you ago. have a long history. Yeah, you still playing the uh, the guitar? A little bit, not <laughs> too often. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you're also you're also a ballad singer, a folk singer. Yes, but yes. I'm also the minister at All Souls oh, Unitarian you? Universalist okay. Church. Wonderful. So, but thanks for remembering. <laughs> yes, I, I thought that you were familiar with yes. Well, thank you all, and I'll certainly see that she gets this and the message and your good wishes for. Okay. And here's my card. All right, so thank that, you so yeah, much. So I def, yeah, I think this is the St. Charles Place subdivision, okay. off of Norris Bray Road. Okay, very good. Yeah, I know who that is. I'm pretty sure.
wonderful. Thank you all very much. Thank you. So she, wasn't here. she wasn't here. To well, I'm really glad that you came, you know, that allow us to come here. Oh, because absolutely. This is like so important. Well, you know, and as you said, it's wonderful because there there does need to be public participation, sure. and it's very important with public conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we thank you very much. And obviously she gets this. Okay, thank, thank you. You all have a great weekend, and the moms have a great weekend. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm Elaine King. Elaine King. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I worked at LSU for a long time. Oh, in Shreveport? Okay. Because I worked at LSU from 2002 to 2005. I worked in the Chancellor's office.